What is up everybody? Today we have a new lesson. We're looking at how to add positive and negative numbers. Let's jump into it. Okay, in today's lesson we're going to use a number line. So I've got this number line here at the bottom just to illustrate exactly what we're doing. And we're going to follow these two rules. The first one says adding a positive number means we must go up the number line, meaning we're going to get a greater value. And the rule two says adding a negative number means we go down the number line, meaning our value gets less. So let's have a look at what that looks like with example one. So example one says negative six plus 11. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mark negative six on our number line. And I can see it just here. So that's going to be our starting position. And now I'm adding a positive 11. So if I have negative six and I add a positive to it, I'm going to end up coming up my number line. So let's do it. Let's make our 11 jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And we land on five. So negative six plus 11 equals five. Question one, not too challenging. Let's have a look at question two. This is a bit harder. We have nine plus a negative number this time. So remember, rule two said if we add a negative number, we're going to end up coming down our number line. So first things first, I'm going to mark my nine on my number line. Here it is. And I'm now going to come 11 jumps back down my number line. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And I land on negative two. Therefore, 9 plus a negative 11 leaves us with negative 2. Now, that might be the first one that throws us off a little bit. But the way to think of it is we originally had 9, and then someone gave me, they added a negative 11. So I had 9, and then someone gave me a negative 11. So essentially, they gave me a debt. I now owed them negative 11, and I only had 9. So I gave them all my nine, and then I still owe them negative two. Okay, let's look at question three. Question three says negative three, add negative five. So we're gonna follow the same steps. I'm gonna circle my negative three on the number line. There it is. And I'm adding another negative, and I'm adding negative five. So remember rule two, if I add a negative, I have to come down my number line. Because again, I had negative three, I was already owing someone three, and then someone added another minus five, another owing five. So let's see how much I owe. Negative three, one, two, three, four, five. Added a negative five, leaves me with negative eight. Let's do one more. This one I'm starting with negative one, and I'm adding a negative four. So negative one, circle it on my number line, and then I add another debt, another O. So I'm going one, two, three, four, and I land on negative five. And there we go, that is adding positive and negative numbers. Let's think about what to remember. First, we need to draw a number line to help us. Then we're gonna put the first number on the line, and then we're gonna remember our two rules. Adding a positive number means we go up the number line. Adding a negative number means we will come down the number line. Okay, here are four questions for you to have a go at. Try and work out the answers to these four questions and put your answers into the comment section. And there we go. Hopefully this video was useful for you. If it was, think about subscribing to the channel and hopefully I'll see you in another video. But for now, peace out.